So getting started with Flutter on a Windows device is extremely easy. You just need to go on Flutter website by just typing Flutter. You will get to flutter.dev website and here I will go. And in this file, not file, in this website, you can see beautiful animation, but let's click on this get started. So as soon as I click on this get started, I will have this uh, installation page and here we are searching for Windows installation process and yeah we are here we have and the first important thing we need to do is installing the Flutter SDK and the Flutter SDK we will get inside this zip file so you just need to click here so that it will start downloading and as soon as it will complete the download we will open the Flutter SDK so now it is downloaded and we will have this flutter zip file and what next we need to do we need to put this zip file and actually extract it inside the desired folder and the most important thing we don't need to put that flutter sdk inside the program files never put that inside the program file so let's just go here and we just need to extract it so extract file where we need to extract so I want to extract to C then creating a folder called source and then a folder called flutter so if I click OK here it's not extracting that inside my Windows directory inside source and yeah we have this flutter and again inside flutter flutter double flutter so we will need to put this flutter details away from this folder so everything is now extracted and what we need to do we need to just cut it from here and then I will paste it here so that we just have one folder so what's the directory structure Windows C file C directory then source then flutter extremely easy C source flutter that's cool and then we need to update our environment variable how we can do that so you just need to go to search bar and type environment and it says edit environment variable for your account so let's click here or select that whatever you want to do then what it says uh, search for env select this and then user variable so where is the user variable this is the user variable and we need to then put this thing flutter bin so where is the flutter bin so let's open our flutter directory inside c source flutter bin so let's just copy this path from here then it says we need to give this path to that directory and here we have so what we need to do we need to select this path and then click on this edit and we need to add new one and then paste it pasting this c source flutter bin but before clicking on OK, what I am going to show you is uh, let's open command prompt. And here I will say flutter. And now it says flutter is not a recognized internal or external command. If I click on this OK, so click OK and once more. And let's restart this uh, command prompt. And this time if I say flutter, you can see we are having something it's not saying internal or external uh, not recognized command but it has uh, recognized it so we can simply say flutter hyphen hyphen version and now we can see we have the flutter 1.9.1 plus hot fix something something so yeah we have successfully installed and configured but let's click uh, let's run flutter doctor so we don't actually now need to go inside this directory because we have added the path for flutter so we just say flutter from anywhere so flutter doctor and hit enter and now it sees what doctor flutter doctor will do flutter doctor will check for the dependencies we need for creating the flutter applications so it says flutter is installed obviously flutter is installed then it says android tool chain is not there then it says android studio not there vs code is not there and no connected device so let's now start with android studio so again go to google and type android studio and let's click here and now click 
download Android Studio and then I'll say accept and download Android Studio for Windows and let's start downloading so let's just wait for this to complete and now we can see the Android Studio is installed once again open the folder open the download folder and double click here a simple installation of kind of things on any type of software yeah next 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 lots of next so next next yeah make sure you have checked this android virtual device because we are using this virtual device to test whatever what, what we are creating we don't want every time to connect our physical device physical phone so click next once more next and yeah it's now installing and it's completed click on next start android studio it says i don't want to import any setting okay and yeah it's installing not installing it's starting the android studio it says i don't want to send any kind of crash messages to google and now let's start really getting started with flutter so when you open first time android studio you just need to say click on next and then next choose your uh, uh, light or dark ui so dark color i like and clicking on next and then comes the most important thing you can see it's now going to install all these dependencies the android emulator sdk sdk for 29 the latest android version and tools platforms and emulator accelerator everything and before clicking on next let's just once more type flutter doctor and this time it says okay so it's not recognized the android studio why because these dependencies is not there once more click on the finish so that it will install download plus install everything so again we need to wait for this to complete and here we have little problem it says haxm is not properly installed so it has given some kind of link this may occur on your device or may not let's move this without and if i if we face any problem then we will install it so i will click on finish and now when you finish installing the android studio you will get this kind of uh, welcome page i can say <laughs> before moving forward let's just go to command prompt and again type flutter doctor and hit enter and let's see what it says it says android studio license is not accepted okay i got your point and it says yeah i know there is android studio but flutter and dart plugin is not installed so let's just install these two things first so i just need to go to the config here and then plugins and then on the market space just search for flutter search and yeah we have this flutter so click on this flutter and accept it and i want this also to install with dart so yes i can see yeah it's started and then what do i want to do i want to search for dart so let's search for dart and yeah because we have already installed the flutter it has installed uh, dart also so let's restart this ide so restart it and then you can see now we have some different look because now we have one more tab which says start a new flutter project and once again if i run flutter doctor let's see now it says yay android studio is properly configured we are not using vs code so we don't need to care about this error or warning actually not error and again we are not using physical devices any connected physical devices so that's what it says and we don't have to care about this also the question comes for this android license so let's run this and see what this is saying and let's say yes one more yes one more yes lots of yes 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 okay so all the sdk package license is accepted once more flutter doctor and you can see all the three first three are checked green that means flutter doctor says you are healthy flutter and now quickly let's get started with flutter so i have clicked on this flutter so once again let's see 
start a new flutter project click here choose any application style so i'm creating a flutter application click on next give the name flutter app or anyone you want then we need to define the flutter sdk so with this we have two options either we can give the path which is inside c source or src and then flutter we can give this or if you have not installed the flutter sdk which we have installed firstly then you can just say install then it will ask for the path but we have already so let's just give the path and then click on next once more it says domain doesn't matter whatever you want to give it says android x you want to use yeah i want to use it says do you want kotlin or swift uh, language support i don't want any kind of things so let's just quickly click on this finish and then it will start and finally we have this flutter project and this looks so complicated when you first see this android studio but i will make sure you will not get overwhelmed or confused with all these tabs and configurations and sidebars and lots of different things so what i'm firstly going to do i will create an emulator so you can see it says no device because either we have not connected any physical device or we have not started any uh, emulator so to start an emulator you need to just go to tools and then avd android virtual device avd create virtual device and it says what virtual device you want to create and i can create any kind of so let's use pixel 3 okay and then click on next and it says which one you want to use so let's use android q so click here on download and now it's downloading the proper uh, sdk for uh, android q actually api level of 29 that's cool and finally after some time the q android q is installed so finally let's click on finish and then yeah i can now select and click on next and pixel 3 everyday name whatever you want to name it then click on finish once more and let's click on this and it says now hxm is not installed so let's see i will use 2gb and now it is starting something let's see running intel xhm installer so this time android studio is installing xhm hxm for our uh, for us and it has done with this so now we can click once more and is already running that's cool already running so you can see we have this android emulator running on our windows device so, and finally google is here after lots of downloads lots of uh, configuration lots of installations we have reached to this emulator part close here because now emulator is running and this time you can see we have this selected emulator as android sdk build 86 whatever it is click on this green button which is to install or start or run whatever you want to say and i will just close this panel by just clicking this minus sign at the top click here and at the bottom here you can see we have various tabs so the tabs is run run tabs is giving information about what is going on when you are running the application so i will introduce you with each and every tab each and everything whatever it has android studio has but to complete this video specifically i just want to show you how flutter uh, default flutter app look like so it is installing and initializing gradle resolving dependencies then it will install this app inside our emulator allow anything whatever it is and finally it has installed the android application inside our emulator and and this is the default flutter app and you can see if i click here it is increasing in number so this is how you can install or configure android studio flutter sdk hxm and lots of other things on 
just on Windows device. So we have done various things. The most important thing to keep in mind is Flutter Doctor and Flutter uh, SDK and HAXM. And if you have any problem while installing this Android Studio or configuring Flutter on your Windows device or any kind of device, you can freely message me, comment me, email me or you can just follow me on these platforms because I will go live and you can directly chat with me uh, somehow in a week or two week. So yeah, let's meet on the next video to start with really how we can see this Android Studio and how we can configure this for our better development environment. So we will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.